In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the app TinyTap as a way of making your own personalized educational games. I'm going to make a maths game. I'm going to base it around the theme of dinosaurs. So I'm ready to start my game now. So I'm going to press this button in the middle where it says create. And I want to add a front cover to the start of the, the game just to introduce it. So I'm going to go to this button where it says web. That will bring up an internet search. And I'm going to search for dinosaurs. And the picture to use. I think we'll use that one. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to resize it now. So we'll just press on it and I can just make it full screen. And I'm going to add a title to that as well, actually. So I'm just going to press that button there to bring up the tools again. I'm going to press the T and I'm just going to type in the title of the game. We'll call it Dino Maths. I think I might change the color of it as well. I'm just going to double click on that. That will just send that picture to the background and then my title's there. So uh, it might be nice to record a voice, my voice as well, actually introducing the game. So if I press the Add Activity button and press Next, that will give me options to record my voice. So I'm going to press the one that says Say Something, and I'm going to record myself introducing the game. Welcome to Dino Maths. Click on any dinosaur to begin. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Press the done button. So there's my first page ready. So now I'm ready to start the actual game now. So I'm going to press the next button which says add photo. And I'm going to press the little camera button again. This time I'm not going to go to the website to find lots of different individual pictures of dinosaurs. I've already done that and I've got them saved in my camera roll. So I'm going to click on the one that says albums instead. And that will bring up the photos from my camera roll. So if I just scroll up, I've got some here. So I think maybe the first question might be to do with which dinosaur is the widest. So we'll choose the pterodactyl and then we'll have the brachiosaurus, is it? Okay, so again, we can just position them where we want them to be. Obviously, we want the answer to be pterodactyl. So we'll just emphasize the fact that that is quite a bit wider. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. So I'll go back to add activity. Remember, every time you press that, that then gives you the option to record something. So this time I'm going to record myself asking a question. Which dinosaur is the widest? After you've recorded the question, it's then prompting you to trace the answer area. So obviously the answer is the pterodactyl. So if I trace around that and then press the green button. And then I've got the option to record an answer as well. So that could be me perhaps saying well done. Well done, the pterodactyl is the widest dinosaur. And I could also record myself saying something for if the player presses the wrong answer. Unlucky, that's not the right answer. Try again. Okay, and then when I'm done and I'm happy with that, I press the done button. You can add some more questions, um, but for this particular game, I just want one question per page. So I'm not going to add another question now, I'm just going to press done. Say that I'm happy with that page. So I'm now ready to start a new page, so I'll go to add photo again. And same again, press the camera button, go to my albums again. And I think perhaps for the next page, we can have a question on which one is the biggest. So we'll choose that one. And that one. And again, I'm just going to resize them a little bit just to emphasize it. go okay so I'm happy with the setup of the page now I'm ready to record myself saying something so in this case I'm going to record the question so I'm going to press add activity press next and I'm going to ask a question so I'm going to press ask a question 
which dinosaur is the biggest? And again, it will prompt me to trace the answer area. So we need to trace around this one here. Press the green button. Again, if I just press on question, I can record some feedback for when they get the right answer. Well done, that dinosaur is much bigger than the baby dinosaur. Are you sure that dinosaur is bigger? Okay, I'll press done. Again, I could add some more questions if I wanted to, but I don't, so I'm going to press done. Okay, so I'm going to add some more pages to this particular game, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like so far. So I'm going to press the green button so you can see. Welcome to Dino Maths. Click on any dinosaur to begin. Which dinosaur is the widest? So if the player presses that button. Unlucky. That's not the right answer. It comes up with that recording. Try again. Made. Well done. The pterodactyl is the widest dinosaur. Which dinosaur is the biggest? Well done, that dinosaur is much bigger than the baby dinosaur. Okay, and there we are. So I'm going to go back in, I'm going to edit that and add some more pages to it. But in a nutshell, that's the basics of making your own tiny tap game.